Hey, hey, it's your boy, E. Hood. What's happening? It's your boy, E. Hood. Pastor, full impact ministry. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? I pray all is well with you. I pray you're doing wonderful. I pray favor is at your door. I pray that healing is at your door. I just believe God for everything for you in his will, in his time. And, and I just believe that. I just believe that God loves us and he wants the best for us. Now, <laughs> it's up to us to believe that we are worthy of it, that we deserve it. Now, I want to talk to you for a minute about my latest book that I have out called What Type of Gospel Is This Here? And I want you to really go and get the book. It's only $5.99. $5.99. You need a Kindle, so you need to go and download the Kindle app to get the book. And it's called What Type of Gospel Is This Here? Hey, hey, bless you, bless you. So now the book is speaking on, on the separation from law and grace. And it's a real quick read that you can really get a bunch of nuggets out of. A bunch of nuggets out of. And I also want you to, to really get people to uh, follow me on Periscope. This is where I do live messages and my stuff <laughs> As you probably already know, I, I speak on topics that are very controversial, very controversial. I speak on topics that go against a lot of church religion, a lot of church doctrine. Hey there, Shanice. Hey there. How you doing, woman of God? How you doing, Michael? And, and, I, and I speak on stuff that's very controversial. I mean, this thing here is... This is some stuff that it'll that it'll spark some stuff in us. Some of the stuff <laughs> it'll make you mad at me. <laughs> some of it, most of it, if you have any type of inkling of that you know that better is out there for you and that the better that's out there for you is already in you, that means that you need something to trigger what's in you. To bring it out. And you need something to trigger that you know within yourself that a lot of stuff that goes on in church, probably the church you in, a lot of stuff that goes on in church, you, you know within your knowing that God has nothing to do with it. You know within your knowing that this is complete control and witchcraft. You know within your knowing that a lot of stuff that goes on in church you are not prospering from it at all. And you know within your knowing that a lot of time we have really psyched ourselves out into believing that this stuff is working for, for us. And, and when we really get with ourselves, when you get with you, I've learned this here to be a truth in my own life. When you get with you, because you can lie to everybody else, you can even lie to yourself and start believing it. But when you get with you, you going to ask you some serious questions and you going to have to come up with some serious answers. You may not like them. Because we know that we're supposed to be way further than where we are. And we know, we know within our knowing that a lot of stuff goes on in church. Can't be God. Can't be God. Can't be God. You know you're giving all your time, your money, your gifting, and you're just giving it to, to, to something, to a place where other people, mainly the pastor, is the one prospering from it. How is it that you can be in a church, your pastor living in this nice house, pulling up in a nice car all the time. Him and his family, they able to go on, go on cruises and vacations and, and they don't even have to work. Husband don't work. Wife don't work. Family living good. But here it is. I mean, bills paid, credit, credit on top. I mean, everything. But here it is. You come and you giving all your time, all your money, all your earning, and you still living like a peasant. This is not averaging out right here. This is not averaging right here. 
Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Either that preacher lying or God lying. One thing for sure, somebody lying. And you know within your knowing that this is not right. Now we know that God is no respect of person. So if he got it from here, he get it from us. We got to know. We have to know the truth. You can follow me on Periscope because I'm talking on, on Facebook Live now. And you can follow me on Periscope at Eric Hood. At Eric Hood. And you can follow me on Periscope and I'll be bringing these up messages. And I'll be speaking on stuff that we really don't want to talk about in church. But you got to look at your own life and say, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute, man. The law of average is not working out here. <laughs> the law of average ain't working out here. God now I'm doing all this here in the house of God. But ain't nothing coming back to me, man. I cannot keep proclaiming your goodness to people and not experiencing none of it myself. There has to be some type of ground here where, where, where we can meet on. And I'm telling you, I bring stuff, man. God had told me, he said, son, I have, I have equipped it you to bring clarity to the scriptures because I have equipped it you in your soul, in your spirit. I have equipped it you to come against over 80% of the doctrine that's in the church. But I've cut you for it. You've been cut for it. You're going to have a lot of scrutiny come against you. You're going to have a lot of reproach come against you, son. But you need to know that I'm right there with you. There are going to be some things happen in your life, son. That are going to bring all kind of questions to you about me. This is what God telling me. He said, but I'm going to need you to know that I'm right there all the time. And I'm telling you, God is faithful. God is faithful. And we need to get to know the truth about our relationship with him. We need to get to know God's true nature, his true character, his true will, his true desire, his true purposes for our life. If this stuff in the scriptures does not resonate with our life as of today, what are we doing it for? What do you go to church for? What do you give for? What are you working in the church for, volunteering for? What is tithing? Why are you tithing? Who get, how does God get this stuff? Does God get this money? Are you really tithing to God? Are you really tithing to the pastor? Are you really going to church because you love God and you are looking for a rhema word from God? Or are you really going to church because it's a burden and you feel like this is a, a, this is a contract for you to get the church versus a covenant for you to get a ram of word from God. You have to you have to begin to decipher your life as this here you being connected to a church because people say what they want to say but it does matter what church you go to and it does matter what seed what ground you sow your seed in. It matters. It matters. Believe that. Don't you think it don't matter? See, because you want to be set free in your soul. Ah, Jesus. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of just going to church just to go to church every week? You know the same, you know the routine blindfold before you even get there. Three songs, a message. Full of deception, give your money, get false hands laid on you, false prophecy laid on you, and you do the false falling out. You get up, you're sweating, your uh, dress done got sweaty and nasty, your weave done got cocked over, your suit jacked up, and you leave the church filthy, broke, unlearned, and with false hope. Aren't you tired of that? And then you're going to try it all again. Next Sunday, and get a refill of foolishness. Aren't you tired of that? 
Don't you want to know God's true nature? Don't you want to know his real desires for you? Don't you want to know God's real plan for you? Aren't you tired of being deceived? Aren't you tired of actually going to do stuff and profiting in nothing from it? Because it gets to the point to where now it's not the pastor deceiving you. You're in self-deception now. There has to come a time when you say, bam, we got to cut this thing right now in the middle. Either this is truth or this is not. We're going to have to know real from Memorex. But I'm going to need to know the truth. God, I'm going to need you to tell me the truth. I, I, I told God some years ago, I said, Lord, I don't want to be like these church folks. Because they mean they evil, they cheap, always sick, always broke, all gullible as anything. You can sell them a bridge on the moon. Gullible, weak. I said, and I don't want to be like these folk on the street. I said, I need you to save me for real, man. I need you to pull the covers off them scriptures and reveal the depthness of who you are to me. I don't have time to play with you, man. I don't have time to play with. See, see, I didn't get saved to run from hell. I didn't get saved because I'm running from something or somebody. I, I, I got saved because I knew it was something better for me. And I was on the street doing well for Satan. Satan took care of me. <laughs> Satan took good care of me. Drugs, money, women, power. Satan took good care of me. And I told God, I said, Lord, Satan took good care of me. I was one of his chief soldiers. I know that I didn't come over here on the other side of the fence for this mundane, minute Christianity. I know you got to be bigger than Satan. I'm going to need you to manifest yourself in my life, player. Talk to me. Talk to your boy. You say you love me. You, you say I'm your son. You say you're my father. You say if I come to you, even though I have some turmoil, you'll be right there. You say you'll provide for me. You say you'll protect me. You say you'll sustain me. You say you'll preserve me. Come on with it, man. Shower me with what you're working with. Because I'm over here. Because Satan took good care of me, player. What's happening? Talk to your boy, hood, God. Talk to your boy. I know I'm not the only one that feel like that. You and you can't tell me. I'm the only one on the planet Earth feel like that. I doubt that very seriously. I know, I know we want to know. I know we want to know God's goodness for us. I know we want to tap into his true heart for us. I know we do. I know we do. The Bible said over in Revelation 3, 20, the Bible said that God himself said that he stand at the door knocking. And if anybody will open up and let him in, he's he said he will come in and reveal himself to him. He said he will reveal his goodness. God is saying he's standing at the doorpost of your heart. And if you open up, he'll let you in. If you open up, he's going to come in and reveal his goodness to you. Man, I'm telling you, join me on Periscope. And we're going to be talking about some real, um, I mean, I mean, tithing. I mean, I mean, tithing, armor bearers, all, all kind of stuff. I don't play games. Well, I, I, I don't care about these pastors coming against me and all. I'm not against the church. I love the church. That's why I speak the way I speak. Because of that foolishness, I'm against it. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not being deceived no more by no pastor, no church rules or nothing. If it's not in the Bible, you can miss me, player. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your type. 
I don't care how much people look up to you as this awesome apostle, a prophet, a pastor, a teacher. I don't care what you are. If it's not scripture, you can bag up off me. And I'm bringing it and I'm bringing it to help people who want this here help. Because it's helping me. I'm talking about it's helping me. Yeah, your boy, E. Hood. And I'm bringing this thing like that. Don't care who don't like it. I'm bringing it. So if you want to, follow me on Periscope at Eric Hood. And I'm telling you, go on Amazon and get my book in Kindle. And it's called What Type of Gospel Is This? And the way you get on the link is called HTTP. This is it here. HTTP. Those two dots, the line, two lines for bit.ly slash Eric F. Hood. You go on there and get it. Go on there, go on there and get my book. It's only $5.99. It's a good, quick read. It's a good, quick read. A good, quick read. And it's going to show you the separation from law to grace. Man, it will bless you. It will bless you. I, I mean, I bring stuff that's really not spoke on in church. I don't play games. I don't have time to play games with my salvation. I'm not going to let no church and no pastor play games with my salvation. And I'm bringing this stuff here to help you, to help us in our walk in Christ so that we can be prosperous. That we can be wealthy and healthy, and that we can really walk in the blessing that he gave Abraham, <laughs> that he gave Abraham, so that we can be blessed. Watch this here, to bless other folk. So go get my book. What type of gospel is this here? And I truly appreciate your support in advance, and you will be blessed by this book. And follow me on Periscope at Eric Hood. It's your boy, E. Hood. I want to holler at you. Let's get this thing right. I'm out. <laughs> Peace!